Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use mass cannon cards with baby dragons, one of the most broken attacks in the game that helped me reach over 11,000 trophies last season. Merciful AJ was the first to show me this attack, so credit to him. Let's get right into it. Also, I created a Discord server. I've got a ton of base links on here for all trophy ranges that I haven't posted anywhere else with more on the way. Anti-Pekka, anti-baby dragon, you name it. Link is in the description. Go ahead and check it out. First attack, we're up against Chief Brew. Let's take this base down with cannon carts. I'm going in with three cannon carts and three camps of baby dragons. So I have these baby dragons here because this lava launcher is in a really tricky position to take down with my cannon carts. It's deep inside the base and I just need some baby dragons to help me take it out. So I'm gonna start with my cannon carts all along the outside of the base. And I have my battle copter here to take down the archer tower and the giant cannon because these two defenses will take down my carts. They outrange them. So with those two defenses down with just my battle copter, it allows my cannon carts to easily take out the rest of the base because check this out. He has two archer towers set to ground mode. So my cannon carts can easily outrange them. I'm gonna pop my battle copter ability uh, a few seconds ago just to go ahead, make it get some more damage, speed things up because it's out of range of all the defenses. And I'm just keeping all of my cannon carts out of range of this lava launcher for now because I haven't dealt with it yet. And remember, I still have three baby dragons. And these baby dragons synchronize so well with cannon carts because you're able to use their abilities to just take down important key defenses like this lava launcher here. So that is what I'm going to do. Again, all my cannon carts are out of range of that lava launcher. I'm going to send in my first baby dragon to help out my battle copter because I don't want my battle copter to go down just yet. I'm bringing in another baby dragon, get its ability off, and that lava launcher will now go down. And check this out. I haven't deployed one of my baby dragons. All three cannon cards are alive. This first stage is just complete overkill. And the main reason why this attack went so well is because he had his archer towers set to ground mode. When I see archer towers set to ground, or I'm sorry, low mode, whatever you want to call it, I immediately think, how can I use cannon cards to take advantage of that? Because most of the time, if those are set to that position, then the base will be weak to cannon carts because it's just another defense that can't shoot them down. So now we're in the stage two. Only defense that can outrange the carts is this multi mortar. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in two more baby dragons. But you're going to see this attack is going to be complete overkill. I'm not even going to deploy my baby dragons. I'm going to swag three camps of baby dragons. And I'm not even going to deploy them. They're all at full health, ability, and everything. So I'm going to go in with my three carts, and I'm keeping them all out of range of this multi mortar. So the two on the right bottom side, you know, they're totally out of range. The one on the left is also out of range. But I'm going to send in my battle machine from the top. And I have a plan here. I'm going to try and have that battle machine tank the multi mortar so this cannon cart on the left side can go in and snipe it out. At the same time, I have my carts at the bottom just sniping off defenses. You know, time is an issue with this strategy. So I have to make sure cannon carts are always shooting something. Now, my the multi-mortar finally locks onto my battle machine. So I'm going to move my left cannon cart in after it takes down those guard post troops and have a snipe off that multi-mortar. A Tesla pops up in the corner. So I have a cannon cart go in and take that out. I will deploy a baby dragon here. But I really didn't even need to. It, it j I just wasted it, but it doesn't matter. This base is done. Baby dragon abilities. I did not need those baby dragons at all. That is it for this first attack. Let's get into another one. Next attack, up against Daniel05. And this time, we're going against a pretty anti-cannon cart base. I'm going to pause it here for just a second to explain why. So he has his expo set to ground. Nine times out of ten... When you find a base with an expo set to ground, my immediate thought is to just not hit it with cannon carts because a ground expo is a great way to counter cannon cart attacks. But I'm going to use my baby dragons here to take advantage of the ground expo and turn this into a really successful cannon cart attack. So whenever I deploy my first cannon cart, let's see, I'm going to go in with my first cannon cart on the left side, snipe off some defenses, and I'm going to do something a little sneaky here. I deploy my battle machine to tank this archer tower, and once it's tanked, I have a cannon cart come in 
to snipe it. Once that arch tower goes down, I'm going to switch into mortar mode because I don't want it to get in path of this archer tower. Knowing your ranges of defenses is really important. So deploying the rest of my cannon guards, and I'm going to have a baby dragon going at the top. And this is how I deal with that ground expo. I pop its ability. I take down the giant cannon as well, which is a big key to defense for baby dragon. Oh, I'm sorry, for cannon card attacks. And then I have that second baby dragon come in because the ground expo is still up. That's why I brought two. I knew one would not get the job done. So that second one comes in and it's going to target that ground expo any moment now. It does now. I'm going to pop its ability because it's about to go down. I weaken up all the defenses. And just like that, this base is crushed. But this is why I brought the archers. I could have brought in three baby dragons, but I brought in a camp of archers just to snipe off this mortar and archer tower because I was saving these for last. I knew those two defenses outrange my cannon carts. And based off the way I deployed all my troops, these would be saved for last. So I'm just dropping my archers one at a time to snipe these defenses. I don't want to drop all four of them at once because I got the job done with two. All I needed to deploy was two. So now I have their abilities saved for that second stage. And just like that, this first stage is wiped out. I have three cards alive, two archers I didn't deploy. Let's speed it up so we can see what happens in the stage two. Here we are, stage two. And I'm going to go in with my battle copter. And I'm just going to bring in more baby dragons. So I'm sticking with my three cards. I have those two archers for support and some baby dragons. And what I'm doing here is the only defense that outranges my cannon cards was that lava launcher. And just like that, I used two baby dragon abilities to take it out. That is something you'll see me do a lot in my cannon card attacks is I'll use the baby dragon abilities to snipe out the lava launcher because it only takes two abilities to go down. And with that down, the rest of this base is just crushed. Nothing can outrange my cannon cards. I have extra archers, cannon cards, all that stuff. Uh, battle copter is still a full health. Even if that archer tower was not upgrading, my battle copter would have taken it down, no problem. And just like that, this base is crushed. Cannon cards are so strong, especially when you pair them with baby dragons or archers. Let's see one more attack. Here we go. I saved the best for last. We're up against this guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but just like that first base, he's got some low targeting archer towers. I'm going to take advantage of that with cannon carts and notice here on the right side the only air defense he has is this archer tower so i'm going to deploy my battle copter to snipe out that archer tower because it will beat it in a 1v1 and then it's going to go deeper into the base and take down this lava launcher and giant cannon now i have three cannon carts and three baby dragons selected the reason i only have three is because i'm going to use my baby dragons to take out this multi-mortar so once this giant cannon and lava launcher go down, the multi-mortar is the only thing that outranges my carts. So I'm just going to take it out with my baby dragons. You'll notice a very common theme here. All what I'm talking about in these attacks are the defenses that outrange cannon carts. Because that is all what you're trying to do with these cannon cart attacks is to st snipe out those defenses that can take them out. Because once they're all gone, your cannon carts will easily be able to wipe out the rest of the base. So Battlecopter on the right is now on to that giant cannon. I'm slowly moving in my cannon cards. And once I see a good opportunity to go for that multi-mortar, I'm going to deploy a baby dragon on it. And this is going to be overkill. This entire attack, you'll see in the stage two, it is going to be so overkill. Like, it's going to be funny. So Battlecopter is now going to have to pop its ability and it's going to go down. I'm deploying my last baby dragon on that multi-mortar. will pop its ability because time is always an issue with this strategy. I don't remember how many seconds I have left, but I know it was getting a little close to it. And now I just have to take out this final crusher. Stage one is wiped out. Let's fast forward it and get towards that stage two. So we're into the stage two here now. A, I'm deploying in my cannon carts on the right and I Tesla pops up. So what I'm going to do is deploy another cannon cart to take down that Tesla before it destroys any of my cannon cards. Now this guy does have his expo upgrading. I don't know if this would be set to ground or to air, but trust me, whatever, even if it was set, whatever it was set to, it's gonna get wrecked. I've got both ground and air troops. So if it was set to air, you know, easy cannon cart value over there. If it was set to ground, I would just take it out with baby dragons. It doesn't matter that it's upgrading. 
So what I'm doing here though is I have my battle machine selected because my battle copter went down and I'm creating a funnel for my battle machine to go in towards this top compartment and take out the archer tower because this is the only defenses that outranges my cannon cards on this stage. Now I'm also sniping out this cannon with one of my carts because I want as little DPS on my battle machine as possible. So once that cannon goes down, battle machine goes in now. I'm moving in the rest of my carts to snipe off the defenses because that archer tower is distracted. And I'm just going to sit here for a little bit, let these carts work, let my battle machine ability charge up. Notice how every time I deploy my battle machine, it's always in the corner to let it charge up that ability because here I get its stage three ability off. It takes out everything in that section. Cannon cards moving in. This base is done. I have four baby dragons. I have not even deployed. All four of these baby dragons have their abilities left. And I think I only will use one of them uh, just to finish off the rest of this base and keep my cannon cards alive. So that auto's outpost will go down. All the zappies come out and they're going to get weakened by those cannon cards and all go down. A cannon does lock onto one of my cannon cards. So I drop a baby dragon to take it out, keep all my cards alive. And I have every single troop alive except that one baby dragon I lost in the first stage. Guys, that is how you use cannon cards and baby dragons. We saw a little bit of archer action as well. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe if you are new. And remember, I have my Discord linked, a ton of base links for you all in the description. Go ahead and join it. I'll see you in the next video.